What up, tubers? Welcome to another qualifier weekend day one here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numot for all your magic card needs. This is the big one. I was wrong. Uh, it is seven wins before three losses. So you do have two losses to give, but this is best of three sealed. You need to get to seven wins to qualify for day two. And then you need to get seven wins again on day two to qualify for like the Arena Champs, the PT. Um, so these are not easy events. I've made day two a couple of times, uh, but you need to open very well, obviously. This is this is not an easy event. So here we go. Sealed Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Let's hope we get a lot of rares and a lot of good ones. Oh, man, and that's not good. We did open 11 rares, but... Geez, look at how many bad ones are. Two key to the vault are just dead. Molten duplication is terrible. Kellen joins up as garbage. That's four of them already terrible. The rest are like playable, but not good. Oh, that really sucks. Our pool. I mean, we're, you don't need rares to win or mythics, but of course it makes it easier. So this is going to be a problem. White looks terrible. Blue looks terrible. Black looks terrible. Red looks medium. Oh my gosh, this pool just looks so bad. Wow. This is one of the worst sealed pools I've ever seen. And like that that is sometimes how sealed goes. Um that's just really unfortunate. I mean, we do have fixing. So there is that, but this is one of the worst pools I've seen. So I'm probably going to just have to try to go like three, four, five color, just playing all of my best cards and hope that I draw perfectly every time because this is incredibly bad. My God. Ah, this is so frustrating open, opening pools like this. Oh, man, it's just so bad. My best card is what? Like, Honest Rut? Do we have Wily, or do we have any enough mounts for Wily? I have a Beaver. Quilled Charger. A Bounding Felidar. I have, like, no mounts. No vehicles. So Wily's not even very good here. All right, we're going to have to go five-color YOLO. And this is not the kind of five-color YOLO you want to be doing. Cactarantula is too good not to play. Oh, man. God, such a letdown. Sealed is one of my favorite formats of all time, or it used to be anyways. Back in the day, you would get one of those, like, play packs. I don't even remember what they're called, but it, it was effectively three boosters. And then you would get three boosters. And you would build a deck from that. It was just ah, fond memories of that format. But here we are nowadays. Um, I wonder if I have to do like... I don't even have like good cards to play. That's the issue. Like I, I always say, you know, just play your most powerful cards or whatever. And don't try to go two color. But what if that's my only option? Like in our last sealed video you know i didn't i opened a, a <laughs> somehow this pool was worse i opened a similar power level pool to this and uh we just forced ourselves to go two color green white try to curve people out but that's a lot better in best of one like best of three i might be able to get one win just be by having a better curve but um you have to assume in like Two of the three games, you know, I'm not always going to be able to do that. Now, don't get me wrong, this doesn't look like a well, it's not good, but it's 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 okay for what it looks like. Um two bucolic ranches is kind of unfortunate too, with all of our well, rather our lack of mounts. Like, I like Insatiable Avarice and Sealed a lot, 
but I just don't have anything to go tutor for. Right? I don't have like a tyrant or whatever. I don't have a Rakdos or something. I don't. Oh God. Man. Like, I'll probably end up splashing the Felidar. I honestly might want to run a card like Fell the Mighty, even though I hate this card. It doesn't even look good in my deck, actually. Ooh, I could splash Stop Cold and Sphinx. I'm not going to double off color splash Chrom. Uh, that would be a double off color splash. Well, it kind of a double off color splash. I mean, if we're green, black, base, splashing blue, white. No, oh, that's still too hard to cast, I think. Red has some removal. It has the two trick shots, the salvo, the scorching shot, and the two derailments, but it doesn't have any creatures, really. It's got a Wolverine, two Mine Raiders, and a Charger. Um, I could splash the Humiliate as well. It's a little bit more of an awkward card to splash for. Wish we had just had a Binding Negotiation or whatever. I mean, at least my fixing's not terrible for what this is. How many ways do I have to commit a crime? Hustler, technically varmint if they have a target, technically punt plunder, ash. Yeah, we, man, I don't, do not have that many ways to commit a crime. I actually might want to play the red for the removal, even though my fixing leans better towards this. Maybe my green's not even good here. I mean, it, it's... my. I take that back. My green is good. It's just shallow. Is there a world where I can go, like, black-red aggro? Of some variety? I mean, would I be running the Restless Lackey? Possibly. Red, black. Um, we could probably easily splash the honest, maybe the crom. Oh, this is so bad. You know, if I'm running rec reckless lackey. I am not a happy camper. God, I was looking so forward to this event, and we just opened this garbage. I mean, if I... Well, how much removal? We're getting a lot of red burn, right? How's the creature curve looking? Not a terrible creature curve. Is this actually playable here? Probably not. I don't think that card is any good anyways. Um, would I rather splash Crom or Honest? If we splash Blue, what else do we get? Could try Slick Sequence. I don't think that's worth splashing. We have enough better red burn. Like a Lone Shark, a Stop Cold. If I splash green, I can run like Trash the Town. Um, Savage Smash. Maybe just play one of these random creatures as well. Could splash dance of the tumbleweeds as a bigger creature too. Maybe this isn't bad. 
I would get, what, a Festering Gulch and two Mirage Maces for green fixing. I guess the double Mine Raider, too. Uh, this is a low creature count. Mark would probably just need to run the dog as an extra random creature. And maybe splash the beaver too. Woof. Ah, oh, so frustrating. Look forward to playing this for a full week. And then this, huh? I mean, I think this might be my best bet. Go for a more aggressive curve. Just try to put enough pressure on the opponents before they can resolve any of their bombs. <sighs> Just look at, again at my rares and mythics. Like, what the hell? <sighs> uh... I need to screenshot that. It's just that bad. Oh, man. All right. Well, enough complaining. Let's at least try to do the thing, huh? That's all we can do. Give it our best shot. I mean, if nothing else, I, this was a free qualification since I was in the top 250 last season, and we can earn some handful of gems if we do well. Um, Do I want to run Avarice here? This might be the type of card that I just need to run as some card advantage. Trick Shot may be better than Thunder Salvo. Any overlooking things? Um... I'm going to guess it's still worth running the Soured Springs as a point of damage that can trigger our, like, Zealous Muscle, our Hustler, our Raven, our Vad. So there's still value in running this, even though it adds only one of our colors. Is Bandit's Hall worth running here? Do I, I might actually have enough crimes to run the Bandit's Hall, too. I think that might be good. It fixes as well as... Uh, Gives us some later game card advantage. I guess I can probably cut the lackey then. Only thing lackey is actually good for is the double mine raider treasure, but I like the ruckus over the lackey. Maybe that's not even good. Eh, no, that's probably fine. One more check. I'm not overlooking anything. Triple black, a little bit rough. All right, let's figure out this mana base now. So let's see, I don't think we need two forests. One should be sufficient. That would give us four green sources and land, plus we have the bandits hall, and then a couple of treasure production. We're not casting the green cards until later anyways. Turn three, maybe at the earliest, if I have a turn three rut to return a creature, but that seems unlikely. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight-ish black, seven, eight-ish, nine red. So we just go up one swamp. That would give us nine black sources, nine red sources. Ah, man, frustrating. I don't, man, I'm debating adding the Krom, too, just for a little power. Like, I'm already playing the Soured Springs. We have two Mirage Mesas. This is probably just worth throwing in the deck and I, instead of the Demonic Ruckus. 
And yeah, just hoping that we draw our mana correctly. All right. One of the worst sealed pools I've ever seen in my life. But what can you do? For every one of these pools, somebody's going to open some nutty pool. Classic. I think I keep this. We're going to be playing on full control hard mode. It's got all of our colors. Or, well, actually, that's not true. I added Chrom, but... The hope here is that... The Mine Raider attacks on turn 4, and I get to trash the town, make a 5-4 Trampler, and draw 2 cards, you know? Ugh, god, this is brutal. I guess that means... I might be able to enjoy the rest of my Saturday. Did they take a mulligan? What's going on there? I hope I'm not disconnected. Okay. Um, actually, we're going to hold the Festering Gulch because we have Blood Hustler, we have Vadmir, and remember, our green cards don't come down till later anyways, for the most part. So I think I'm going to get a little bit greedy. And even now, instead, like, we can just play Wolverine on turn three. As a plot. Yeah, let's go for value. Hope you with the turn two Erinx is not great though. Okay, no saddle. It's good. Oh, missed a land drop. Take those. Um Alright. I'll go ahead and run this out. Even though we have a good 4-drop to play. I think this is still what we want to do. Just get pressure on the board now. I might end up regretting not playing the Festering Gulch turn 1, but I think I had enough reason not to, even though we have trash in hand. Rictus Robber. Okay, yeah, might as well cast it. It's free. So remember, the Wolverine is until the end of your turn. Not until the end of your next turn. Have a Desert's Dew or something. Oh, shoot the Sheriff. No, they can't shoot that. Banishing Verse. Sure, sure, sure. I'm not blocking. Because they're missing land drops, we know they have nothing but spells in their hand. So what we want to do here is maximize our pressure. That is to say, I'm going to be able to develop out to the board a lot faster than they are currently. Man. Ah. Two cheap removal spells, though, does really hurt. Although, at least those are gone now for trash the town purposes. Alright, well, I'm not going to cast trash the town here. Not into open mana. 
We're going to lead with the dog for surveil, then play the plunder. We don't need the treasure from the mine raider right now. Uh... At Bandit's Hall, it was a little bit tempting, but... Wow, destroy artifact. Got me, okay. Feels like they also have a um, take up the shield in their hand by the way they're playing. It's a good draw. So we can go mine raider into beaver here. Well, if every one, every single one of my opponents gets stuck on two land for a while, maybe we have a chance. <laughs> All right, and that should do her. Yep, we're just gonna derail the Sterling Supplier or Scorching Shot. Doesn't particularly matter which one. All right, we'll take the first game. <laughs> There's the one game we get, like I said. Um, we didn't really see anything but a lot of removal, huh? Uh, I just don't think I have much to sideboard unless we want to move into like a comparable weak color, you know? There's a small part of me that wants to just, like, splash the Cactarantula, too. As, like, our quote-unquote bomb card. But... Double green is maybe a little bit of a stretch. I mean, I, I, again, I do have some fixing and treasures otherwise, but... I don't think that's what we want to do. Oh, you know what I could be doing here as well? I could be running this heath instead of forest. I didn't mention that, but... Again, that is not bad for crime purposes. And just the extra poke damage. Let's try... Actually, maybe that's better. Run the heath over the forest. That is a lot of tap lands, though, when I'm trying to kind of curve out, but... Maybe that's a better build. I just have to, like, squeeze every point of damage out. So, we could get hurt by the tap lands, but yeah, that's a decent looking hand. So, we're going to save the Gulch for Vadmir. Um, I guess we just named Blue here. Right? For Krom. Outlaw. I will run out the Vadmir on turn two. I'm not going to wait and try to immediately make it a 3-3. We didn't see Deserts do. Vanishing Verse is always going to deal with bad. Uh, 
Uh, fine. It's a free roll attack by them, but if they have something else to play, that is, or a removal. Sp well, if they had a removal spell, they would have maybe just killed it. But all right, that's nice. That's gonna give us an artifact target for our derailment. Ooh, now I actually have to just curve out instead. This is better. Because that'll give me the option next turn of explosive two for one-ing. So we don't, we do not want to block this dog, right? All right, and that's perfect. Go derail, creature, artifact, pump up bad, attack for six. Now look at our hand too, right? The double desert here with Vad will pump it up even further. So next turn we go Gulch plus Charger. Oh, that's pretty good. Sack the Outlaw, kill the Vad, draw a card. Yeah. Turn for them. I just like trading here. Oh, they have a sheriff. Dang it, yep. That's annoying. Ah, okay. 4-2 flyer, make me discard draw. Hey, another artifact! <laughs> Alright, well, let's just kill them both right now. There might be value in killing the gardener. We don't know if they have any kind of splash. Oh, braided bluffs. Oh, that might just be in their deck, of course. Oh, double red. Okay. Well, only one card in their hand. Let's hope it's not too gross. That is, in fact, pretty gross, but Honest Rut was a good draw. Uh, I think we offer the trade, right? they want to block with any number. I think we're going to get the Quill Charger here. So we're ahead, but it's not like extremely far ahead. Um, I think I don't even think we actually want to block here, do we? I mean, maybe if they if they go all on, that's kind of crazy. No, oh, I can afford to take four. Death Toucher was a decent draw from them. 
This is what, two to saddle? Alright, I'm willing to trade my charger for their servant plus one token. Wow, man, another really good draw for them, given all their 1-1s. Okay. Jeez, brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Um, my name Green here again, I guess. A couple lands versus a couple spells, and they're right back in it. Like I said, I didn't think we were too far ahead. Are you kidding? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, that's all it takes. Unreal. I'm gonna go to four. Good. Okay. Uh, so after seeing form a posse... It might be worth bringing in the Neutralize. I go to... They do have the tokens, but I don't know if Shoot the Shot actually does too much versus them. Ah, good beats. All right, game three. The good news is their deck looks very beatable. Um, we haven't seen any bombs from them yet either. I don't have any bombs in my deck, but from what we've seen, they don't have any bombs in theirs, although I'm sure they have something. All right, let's keep that. Um... We actually name red here with the Mirage Mesa, right? Or like Scorching Shot. We have the hall. Well, actually, they have a way to blow up an artifact, so never mind. I'm actually going to name blue here again and play it safe. I'd love to find a two drop. It's not bad, though. How does our curve look? I guess I'm going to hold the gulch. Now we can play the uh, Bandit's Hall into Gulch Trigger. Oh, it looks like they're getting stuck on land again. All right, I mean, hey, I'll take it. They're still missing black, thankfully. Even though we have Honest, we don't want to be trading off and give them an extra card. Alright, it's going to ping them and make our Zealous indestructible and get a Bandit's Hall trigger. And of course, they might still just chump this. Uh, 
Go to discard. Look, this wasn't a good game of magic, but a win is a win, right? That is indeed what this is. A win is a win. We'll take it. We just need to do that six more times. <laughs> yeah, what do we get for one win? A thousand gems. So again, you start getting a lot of gems if you get a, quite a few wins, but I would not expect to get more than three or four wins if we're lucky, but eh, we'll take it. Want to know? All right. Off to round two we go. Lost the die roll. Can't win. Oh, it looks, looks like a fine hand. We cast all of our cards. <laughs> uh, how many plot cards do I have? Just the Wolverine? So, might not be easy to get the Krom value immediately. Uh, what land do we lead on here, then? We could go Mesa on black. We don't need green. Yeah, I think Mesa on black makes the most sense here. And then if we draw a two drop, we can cast it. Oh god, the bandit on turn two. Already dead. <sighs> Well, our opponent's deck looks 10 times better than ours does already. So seeing the bandit, I probably just want to bring in the salvo for uh, next game. That's pretty good, actually. Um, Damn, man, I kind of want to kill the uh, bandit instead of the green blade, but... Ah, that's rough. Guess I should just be holding full control. Like I have been. I don't know. Scorching shot. One of our few big removal spells. I guess the explosive uh, derailments are only one less damage. Speaking of. I'm going to lead with the Soured Springs here. As our Honest probably doesn't need to hit the battlefield soon. Alright, do I want to derail that? I don't think so. I might actually derail their bandits because they missed a land drop. But then again, they did top something. We don't know if they're playing more colors, so I guess this is fine. Set up our draws a little bit. And I am glad I did. That was kind of like a draw, too. Oh, okay. So you're saying we're dead. There's one bomb out of the way. Now 
Now, they are still stuck on lands a little bit, but they have access to four mana regardless. What's it like playing rares? <laughs> Dude, their green looks incredible. Bandit, Trailblazer, Tumblewag, Greenblade? Ay -ay -ay. Two bandits? What? Uh, I guess I'm just going to play out the Krom and hope that they don't have a way to kill it this turn. Alright, well, there's that. Yeah, their, their green is insane. Holy smokes. I guess I'm just going to play out the muscle first and see if it trades with the Cactarantula. And if it does, then we can honest it back. Oh, it looks like they have another targeted effect here. You a saddle too? Holy. All right, well. That's what a good pool looks like. All right. <laughs> no chance. Ay -ay -ay. Uh, I have a varmint to kill enchantments, which might actually be worth splashing given how many we saw from that. I mean, they're just like, there's nothing you can do about that. They opened a good pool, like we did not. Skill doesn't matter. Ah, uh, what does key to the vault do again? That's just time. Neutralize the grounds or the guards to kill a couple of bandits. Probably not worth it. I could actually see splashing Fell the Mighty versus them. Honestly, that might not be that bad. Get the Heath in over the forest. Oh, which I forgot to swap out at the beginning, anyways. <laughs> Fell the mighty. <laughs> um, do I want to get that varmint in after seeing journey plus lasso? Seems kind of medium. God, this is... there's just no way. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. We will need to play out the unfortunate springs here, turn one. Oh, I didn't bring in the salvo. Whoops. Uh, probably should have brought in the salvo for a bandit on turn two. They have Erynx as well. Okay, well, if we do win this game, then I'm going to need to... Um, Bring in the neutralize as well, because now that they've shown us more one toughness targets, that would make sense. This is main phase, so they can saddle. I mean, if I draw an untapped lamb, I can go Krom into Wolverine. Do we want to do that though? We probably just want to try to get the value off the Wolverine. It's fine.
I don't know. The way I see it is we drew one card this way, but I guess I I guess on the other side of the coin, we would have gotten a card and a plus one plus one counter. But hitting the land there was great because now I can guarantee that um, we have a fifth land for muscle. Wow, that's brutal, because I need to name both green and white there. I guess I'm going to go with white and uh, hope they play out some big creatures this turn. Alright, so I'm going to go to seven. And then I can fell the mighty, the Erynx, and the paladin away as a two for one. Flash fell. <laughs> We're still losing, but hey, it's a start. All right, I'm at six. I'm at four. Yeah. Do not have green. Well, that gives me green, but I'm at one on board, so obviously I just died a... Uh, Anything here, even just another desert, of course. You got it. All right, I mean, what were we going to do? They just opened purely better. Purely better opens. Right, let's cut that forest for that extra heath as we go into our next round. Uh, yeah. Again, I'm gonna be happy if we get to three wins with this deck, so... Let's... Try to get there. <laughs> Won the die roll! Ah, uh, it's slow, but we can keep it. I'm going to lead on Gulch turn one. Because we have a bunch of two drops in black. Um, okay. I will name blue here with the Mirage Mesa for Krom, but that means I don't get to cast the Ashes until I find another black source. Honestly, not a terrible draw. And we will keep both of those. I'm just going to cast the uh, Krom next turn. This is an easy trade, of course. Armament can just kill it anyways. Not gonna be able to double spell for a while. Unless I hit something off of this. No. I guess we just attack and play out our 5 drop, that's probably better. I think if they had a removal spell, they would have just cast it on the Krom immediately, so... I actually think we're doing pretty well here. 
Nice. Um, so Mine Raider. Muscle is a rogue. Or whatever, an outlaw. Into Plunder Trigger. Attack for eight. Okay, hey, they're not doing anything over there, so would appear to be in a good spot. Maybe they're buried in the garden here. Yep. We're gonna eat the crom. Okay. Two ways I can play this. I don't think they have a snakeskin veil. But I could wait to draw first, because if we drew an untapped land, then I could derail in response to a snakeskin. Nice. Okay. So they are on minimum abs, and we didn't get much information. They cast three spells. But could, could bring in the varmint, because we saw buried in the garden. Uh, I'm going to take out the trick shot and bring in Salvo since we'll be on the draw. They had the Drover Grizzly and the Varmint, so just a couple of cheap creatures with two toughness that we don't mind blowing up. I, I mean, I cannot complain about how we're doing on the land opens. For sure. So we can name blue here. Then we go Hustler turn two. We're probably not going to run out the um, Heath until turn four. Since we're going to want to play one of our three drops next turn. Actually, I guess I could Mine Raider and then play my Heath the turn after with still playing Krom because of the treasure. But Yeah, it's probably better to save. Oh, no! I did not mean to attack. They didn't, they didn't block. Oh, my God. That is what I get for holding full priority. That was a mistake on my part, and uh, yeah, I got bailed out by Holt. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now they think I have a one-mana trick in my hand, too. Okay. That's good. Let's play out. Gulch, ping, trigger. If I waited one more turn, I could go Krom into Savage Smash. But we'll see what they do here. If they just pass, I can probably wait, right? Because now I can go land, ping, trigger, pass, ping on their turn. Don't need a run open. Fortunate, yeah. Might as well get the drain in since we're not doing anything else with the mana. So now, if I want to smash, I'm going to have to target Krom and the Beaver. I guess we do this and force them to use their trick. 
Okay, well, that's very bad, obviously. That is not a good trick for us to see. I am going to be taking quite a bit of damage here. I think my only way to win this game is just taking the hit for 11. And praying that they don't have much and that I can draw another spell to double spell for Krom. That is not the double spell card we were hoping for. Jeez, alright, well that's pretty bad. All right, we are going to lose this game. <laughs> Joke's on you, I got nothing. Oh, wait. That is not that bad for us. Go to one. Oh, and so they're going to make their creatures indestructible. What else did we see? A mystical tether. Okay. Back to dead. But the good news is... We haven't seen a bomb. Their deck looks very beatable for our deck. Uh... <laughs> but can we beat it? Nah, I don't know. kind of want to bring in the return the favor. But am I going to be able to hold that up very frequently? Starling Hound, Mystical Tether. Didn't we see another enchantment? I could have swore we saw another... Oh, Buried in the Garden. Yeah, I'm okay bringing in the Varmint. God, my deck is bad. Guess so maybe I just cut the Bandit's Hall. No, that doesn't seem like I can. I can probably just cut the Sterling Dog. Even though the dog can actually just be cast with anything. Mana-wise, anyways. Okay, I mean... That is a very good red-black opening hand. We need to find a couple of lands here. Man, even just one land to allow us for two drop, three drop would be insane. Or two drop, two drop with a ping uh, land. I really need to find a land next turn. Please, please, please. Ah! We are the ones that need our opponents to get mana screwed. Land, please. Okay, good, good land. Very good land, of course. Actually, if their first play is just some random creature next turn... Oh, they're gonna Smugglers? Oh, nice. One more land might put us over the top. We get to derail the next one, consume the next one. If they don't have removal, like they can't courtyard untapped anymore, so if they have buried in the garden, it's going to be two turns away at earliest. Okay, nice. 
There's the land. Excellent. This is huge. This is huge. Like, we want them to just go land Paladin now. Well, it's a tap land. Pest infestation for one. So if I consuming ashes one of those on upkeep and then find another desert, I win. I think we're going to do it. Damn. So they chump the vad. They go to 2 because they gain 1 life. But if they just play out Paladin, we're still okay here. Oh, here's the Buried in the Garden. Damn it. Oh, no! Desert still wins this turn. Okay. This has Menace. Ah, son of a bee. Oh no, dude. They plotted a trailblazer. Oh no, they're stabilizing so hard. Trailblazer into Paladin, gain three life, draw a card. Sick. Wow. <sighs> Good turnaround. We were so close. We're going to get another 5-5 five, five draw a card next turn. Don't think we trade because they can get indestructible. Right, them killing bandits hall is not too much of an issue. That's a great draw, of course. But I'm pretty sure we want to get the other muscle online first. Okay, now I'm okay playing out the Heath and attacking for five indestructible. Oh, I should have... Shoot. I messed up. I needed to play my other muscle before they blew up my bandits hall. Wow, big punt. I still get to play out a creature here, but that was a huge mistake. Wow. Okay. Well, they would have gotten the scorching shot anyway, so I feel a little bit less bad. That'll do it. Let's go. Probably better to shoot that thing, huh? <laughs> ah, 
Well, we beat another better deck. But you gotta get lucky sometimes, and now would not be a bad time to get extremely lucky and somehow rattle off five more wins. What do we get now? 2,000 gems back. Okay, GG go next. Alright, round four. Lost the die roll, hand is garbage. Never gonna play again. What do we mull again? I guess Raven? Uh, I mean, what do I need to win? I don't think Raven is good enough, so I think we got to go with our more powerful cards as cards that we keep, and that way I can keep the Mirage Mesa and maybe choose a different color off of it. Gives me time, right? I don't need to play the Mirage Mesa on turn one, especially since we have Krom in hand. Though, if I do not draw a land next turn, I might still just run it out on black. Okay, good. Now we can go blue. Rewarded for waiting. Nice, no plays from them either. Let's go plotting our robber this turn. And then if they play something worth derailing, we can do that and play Rictus Robber. If they don't do anything again, wow, okay. Well, this is a really nice uh, sequence for us then. Plot of Wolverine, keep going for the value machine. Getting soloed by the varmint, but they must have just mono removal. Alright, let's go for high upside. I'm sure this Krom's gonna die, but at least we'll get one card of off, off of it. And if they kill it. Then I'm going to Rick Rictus Robber for a uh, creature as well. We're hoping this Wolverine hits a land, of course. Nice. Oh, wait, that was the draw. So Wolverine hit a land would be beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we can name red here. I guess they're just going to wait until the end of my turn to kill the Krom, since I have the Rictus Robber. Nice, they messed up. Okay, never mind. That's huge. That was a really awkward play for them. <laughs> All right, we'll take it. Uh. You know, versus a trick shot deck, I actually think return the favor can be extremely good. And I'm going to take out my own trick shot. <sighs> yeah, so if they waited until the end of the turn to kill the Krom, I don't get to develop out my robber and I don't get a 2-2 on that turn, so. This hand's a keeper, we're on the draw. Uh, the greedy play would be, especially since we drew another land, play the Swamp and go turn two Robber, or Hustler. But we'd rather try to, um, or we'd rather have a three drop on turn three than a 1-1 one -one counter on the Robber. They plotted a Wolverine. Uh, let's get the treasure here and maybe set ourselves up for a muscle next turn. We're still okay drawing a land for now. I don't need to set up with the Mine Hound. Mine Hound? The Sterling Hound. The Mine Raider. It's pretty 
pretty good. I don't mind trading for Wolverine. Let's so just rip this robber now. I'm gonna save the ashes for like a jungle-born tyrant or whatever it's called. What the hell is that? If they have trick shot, it will take care of the Rictus robber and the token. Annie Flash. Oi. Oh, good thing we have a way to get rid of her. And the planes goes away forever because they can only cast it on that turn. Damn, got rid of my uh, Hustler. Hustler was going to be really nice with the double muscle. Is that? Is that a Dust Animus? Okay, I need to find another removal spell. I'm going to need to play the Sterling Hound this turn and try to find something. <sighs> Smash technically works. But I'm not going to get my hopes up on it. In fact, I don't even think I go for it yet. I think I just go beaver and pass. And hope to hit another land. I think we want to go with Savage Smash when I can also return the favor. So I need to find another red source here. I'm okay with them hitting me for four. Nice, did find the red source. Okay, we can go for the smashy smash now. Take up the shield. It's good. Change the target. Wait, is this target you creature you control? No, it's just any creature. So, and put that on our beaver. Now we get to gain a ton of life, and we get to attack with it. And then we want to make the. So we want to make this a four toughness. Big play there. Big play there. Oh. That was huge. <laughs> nice sideboard card coming in there. Clutch. Just concede. Just. Just, just be demoralized. Hey, there's the trick shot. <laughs> uh. I will trade with the Courser. I don't care about the others. We don't want to continuously get more value. Both the muscle and the chargers are good here. Uh, 
Oh no, do they have Ariats? Dang it, all right. Yikes. Okay, I'm gonna take nine. Good thing we had a huge life buffer. Four toughness creatures still dominates right now. Please stop hurting me. Calamity, Annie Flash, and a Dust Animus, huh? Well, once again, we're running into a better deck. Take a lot of damage here. Take seven, I guess. And they get double trigger of the Wolverine. Ah, oh, they can pump with the Entertainer. Oh, I can't even block. I don't know if they realize they can do that. Yeah. Oh god, that's so risky, actually. Another Savage Smash would win here if we had it. What else? I don't know any- I don't- is there anything I can draw off of this? No. Trash the town is close. Alright, GG's. Calamity Annie Dust Animus. I guess I do need to bring in a trick shot back because that can kill all three of those. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm also gonna bring in Salvo. I guess the bandit's hall is maybe too slow, and I'll just cut the dog again. Oh, man. <sighs> the decks are good, man. It ain't great, but it's fine. We really want this Return of the Favor to be a huge blowout. The thing is, now that they've seen it, they might play around it a little bit more. Okay, and they took one mulligan. Five, 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 five. Probably still just going to lead with Plunder on turn three. Oh, might also have to just cast the Wolverine out next turn. It was a Wolverine of their own. I think trading's all right. God, we would punish them so hard, though, if we had the... Um... The untapped land for hard cast Rictus there. All right, hit Annie Flash or something. <laughs> Get out of my game, you dumb card. Okay, let's hit a mountain while we're calling shots. Not quite. Uh, yeah, I guess we just play it out even though. Ah, don't get a treasure, but. Value is value. Sure, sure, sure. 
I do not think we want to block here. We're just trying to push. Playing the Rictus Robber there would have been fantastic as well, of course. But this is a lot of pressure. I'd love to see that. Like, we probably just run out the Rictus Robber next turn. Oof! Oof! <laughs> Three wins! Three wins! <laughs> I can't be anything but happy with this result so far. <laughs> I will say we've made some clutch sideboard decisions. Even if they are C-rate cards, you know, in specific scenarios. It's deeper. Come on, two drop off the top one time. We have two explosive derailments. Ah, that's really bad. If they're able to start getting value off of that thing. That's really bad for us. I probably don't even uh, plot the Rictus Robber anymore. I'll probably just play out my Hound. Or my Plunderer. I guess we'll go with the Surveil start. Sorry, Daddy Rut. Pylon for the Surveil Land Homestead value. Ooh, they're not attacking with the Homestead. Alright. That was pretty good. Bad into Scorch. As much as I would like to block here, Badmir's too good for us. They did hit a land, unfortunate. Ah, the annoying Ward 2 on the uh, Sure Shot, so brutal. Another journeyer. So they're gonna value the looking at the top for a potential land instead of uh oh they have the punch too. Gross. So they're drawing a spell next turn. Well, I hope they play another creature to crew the homestead then. I 
think I'm gonna get greedy. No. It would be so absurd if I could kill anything else. I'm gonna let him get their target or their uh, top. Uh man. Okay, let's just derail then there. Sure shot. Brutal. I'm gonna go with Wolf, uh, Plunderer, rather, and try to hit a land off of this instead of Wolverine and hoping I hit a land. It, well, at least it's a castable. Nothing? I assume they have some kind of removal in their hand. Blah. I don't think I attack here. Losing that derailment sucks though. As much as I want to plot the robber, I need the treasure for the trash the town here. I mean... I guess they're flooding out. Okay. They're still dead on board. Are we going to get very lucky, like we need to? I did skip one attack that one turn, so I thought they might have had a holy cow or something to flash in. They're still dead on board here. Damage? He can't keep getting away with it. He keeps beating better decks because he's getting lucky. Yeah, that deck looks great too. Could be another varmint splash opportunity. Um, throw from the saddle getting return the favorite is also kind of nuts. Let's bring in the return the favor and the varmint again, and we'll cut the two artifacts once more. 
Uh, no, I'd rather cut Raven and leave the Bandits Hall, I guess. Actually, maybe I should be running the Gardener. No, I, get, well, I like the Hall a little bit more. Okay, we're on the draw, so we only need to find one land here. Great. The only downside about playing the Springs turn one is that I don't get to Scorching Shot turn two, but usually there's not much you want to shot on turn two, you know? Oh, we have a lot of good removal here. Oh, man. Probably a little bit too good to kill. Would love to have gotten Bandit's Hall online first, of course, but... Alright, with a land, I can Scorch that. And this is where the tide swings. Not having a kill there for the Scorching, or for the Sure Shot means I might be taking like 10 damage this turn if they have a Spider. It's a huge, huge swing. Not hitting the land. Brutal! Oh my god. And that's a time walk plus? Alright, well, what's your biggest bomb? It is the spider. <laughs> ah, that is honestly game over, really. In fact, I think what I have to do here is go for plot the Rictus robber and hope I draw an untapped land next turn. They go Spider, hit me for 10. I draw an untapped land. I Scorching Shot. I need to kill the Sure Shot. And that's not going to do it. I mean, this still keeps us alive, but... The Sure Shot is the problem, not the Cactus. I actually need to name Black here in case I draw my uh, Consuming Ashes. <laughs> here comes the Saddles. Make that a 5-5. Five, five. Oh no, it's... yeah. That game's haste as well. Yeah, so we're just dead. Okay, well. Can I beat another better deck? Can we continue to get fortunate? Ah, I can't mulligan this, but it's not good. We need to find... Ideally, we just rip a two drop off the top. One of our um, our outlaws on turn two would be the nuts. <laughs> Hello, friend. Ooh, that's not a bad sign. I need to get the treasure off the Mine Raider with this hand, so hopefully we can Scorching Shot something. If we don't... This is my play. What is that? Plot of Paladin? Alright. Find some lands, please. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, I pumped up the Mine Raider because making the Rictus Robber a 6-5 doesn't do anything versus their punch. This way I spread out my threats and the Trampler gets bigger now. So, like, if they go Paladin into um, Throw from the Saddle, we're not nearly as far behind. Hustler into Scorching Shot next turn looks pretty nice. I mean, if they don't have a punch effect, we might be okay here. Okay, well, white unlocks their journeys. Snake, that's annoying too. Um... I think we just attack with the robber this turn. And then play out the muscle. Yeah. All right, this is where they're going to start stabilizing, especially since I don't have green. Yeah, oh god, they have a clear shot too. Holy crap. Brutal. Now I'm getting a little bit punished for not, uh... Not having, uh... Killed their paladin. I'm worried they also have a freaking take up the shield here. All right, I'll make them do it if they have it. Because if they have take up the shield, then I can. Yeah, they do. Then I can follow up with scorching shot at least. Wow. Is it better just to kill the cactus? I guess it is. Kill the cactus. Go to two. How much life did they gain there? 12? No, they didn't gain 12, but they gained a lot. That green source off the top, we might be okay. Wrong green source, but... That is insane. The fact that I don't get to attack here is so bad. I didn't name uh, blue because we don't have Krom and I can go beaver into smash now. can smash that. I think it's worth copying. I think we just want to play out our beaver. If they hit a land this turn, I think we are winning for sure. Yes, that's it. Holy crap, I think we are crushing them now.
I'm gonna grab the varmint and pass with blood hustler and return the favor open. There it is. There it is. Gaining one life puts the Oasis Gardener out of range. Fine. Actually, yeah, let's blow up their, uh, Gardener now and force them to block. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have attacked with Lut. They had to block anyways. Holy smokes. I don't know how we won that one. We have four wins now. Three wins before two losses with this deck. And we would somehow get there. Can we do it? <laughs> Not with that hand. Okay, that hand's good. Ah, uh, damn it. I wish I didn't have to mulligan a card away here. I'm so tempted to lose a swamp. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is a little bit greedy, but I'm on the draw. So, I'm gonna make this play. Because we need a second red source anyways, right? All right. I bought him to land. This is this is the very important next draw step. Lost GT. Um I guess I'm blocking if they attack. So they can untap a land, they can put a 1-1 counter, they can make a creature unable to block. Alright. Got punished. Had I pitched the charger, I'd be able to play the plunderer here. They're gonna play a 5-drop this turn. Shepherd back their Erynx to hand. Okay. Uh. You know what? I guess I'm actually going to play Bandits this turn. Because if we draw a land next turn, I can derail a creature and the Jitae. That also allows us to start getting counters on our Bandits Hall. Okay, not what we were hoping to see. Yeah, now we're going to fall too far behind. That's on me. Uh, if I had kept that third land, we probably are fine here.
Yikes. Okay. Well, so far from what we've seen, nothing too scary. I mean, I'm not going to be able to beat the Avarice, of course, but... I'm going to go ahead and let them untap with the Jite. They might have just grabbed like a counter here or something, of course. They are playing a decent number of blue sources. it to their hands and then they can get back the GTA. It's gonna go right to the battlefield. Okay. Still not dead here if I draw another untapped land. Get to scorch the flyer. Might as well just main phase this, because I was going to have to do it anyways. And they would just go to attack. Question is, what do they tutor for? They're just passing. That's not a good sign. Yeah, that's bad. That's their second Desert's do. I don't know how much more removal I have. Oh, well, that'll kill us. All right. So it looks like we can probably win. I mean, I don't think we were winning that game even if I had kept the land. Good Esper stuff. Um, with the Assimilation, Aegis, and the GTA. once again, I mean, maybe I should just be starting this in my main deck. The Varmint's coming in again. Are we bringing in Return the Favor? I think we do. Return the Favor in, Raven out. Actually, Trick Shot out. I, I think the Raven can do a lot of poke damage versus them. Oh man, why am I getting my hopes up with this deck? Four and one. Most miserable miserable pool I've ever seen in my life. All right, it's a pretty solid looking opener. Sadly, we'll have to lose the Springs value on the Vadmir. Good curve out, though. 2-drop, 3-drop, 4-drop with the removal spell in hand. Uh, I think we offer the trade here. We have Daddy Rut in hand. We only have one removal spell that I'd like to save for a later creature, probably. All right, they've got all three colors, but they do not have any deserts. So they're not going to be able to desert to do my Quilled Charger here. It's fine.
would much rather get out my green source for honest next turn than raven and drain them for an extra one. I guess we're just gonna get plunderer back. Draw an extra card seems better here. It's a great draw. If I draw another black source, I can actually run out the Raven, too. Alright, they're at 10. I'm gonna assume they have their Wrangler in hand. But even if they wrangle here, it's not that bad. They can't trade for the Quilled Charger. It would simply be a bounce. So they're gonna get a 1 1 token, they're gonna flash in Wrangler. Now the issue is when they pass the turn, they get a 2 2 token. Well, but they might feel like they need to do something else if they have something else available. Because the Charger as a 5-5 five five is still extremely problematic. Yeah, what is this, Mortar Surprise? Second Gem, okay. He's go scorch the flyer. Saddle up. They have to double block the charger, losing both of their creatures, and they go to three, which makes the plunderer lethal itself next turn. Cast your damn surprise. Do it. Yep. And that makes the most sense, because that will give them an extra block after. But that is also lethal. Nice. All right. We steal a game. Uh, does Thornado come in with two gems and the 4-3 flyer? Thornado maybe over Varmint now instead? Though awkwardly the Thornado still requires green to cycle. So that's probably fine. Can't keep getting away with it. One more game for this match. <sighs> uh, 
Ah. Can I win if I keep this hand? Can I win if I don't? I mean, it's not like my opponent has a fast deck, but... No, I think I need to mulligan. This is not much better. I'm gonna pitch the giant beaver here. I don't think this is worse. But again, I don't think it's better. This is similarly bad. Oh, they changed decks up on me. Okay. I still want to lead on mountain in case they play something I want to kill. And then I also have the... Uh... Oh, wait. I thought this was Scorching Shot. Whoops. That is really bad if I don't kill that. Okay. Plunder was actually really nice. So, if they have, a uh, like, a throw from the saddle, we're just going to instantly lose. Nothing I can do about it. Jeez. I mean... And they're feigning that they have Snakeskin Veil. But I have to block here, because if I don't, they ping. Oh my lord, wow, their draw was incredible. So, like, I have to kill this, and then I still lose. <laughs> oh, what a beating. What's it like to be able to build two decks in your in your pool? Uh-huh. The only way I can win this game is if they, like, pass here and then we get insane return the favor value. Like, maybe they don't want to trade off their Jolene for some reason. If their hand is all, like, bricks. So, of course, they get to attack with both here because of the treasure that they can shoot with Jolene. I still need to make the block. They might not have too much else to do. Like, if they're using the treasure like this, that seems better for us. No follow-ups, please. Okay, maybe? Just, like, three lands in their hand, and there's a small chance here. They cannot, can no longer attack with the 3-1 without uh, uh, getting anything. Yeah, but I have to force. That's a good attack. Because I get to keep the Jolene if I block the 3 1. And they get to kill it. Oh! Damn it. If they didn't actually have that uh, Rise of the Varmints follow up, I think we would have stabilized. But three creatures that turn is too much. Good beats. Yeah, good draw. Alright, GG's. Damn! They had an incredible start and we almost actually stabilized. Do I have a better chance if I don't block the one of the threes that last turn? The homestead, for example? I don't think so. Um... Yeah, let's cut the Hound and let's throw in that Return the Favor, though. It was awkward that game because I was behind, but it's that type of card that's so swingy. That's a huge blowout that I think we probably need in a deck like this. All right, no more losses to give. I would need to win three in a row. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long video. Ah, good hand. So, 
Mesa on black, Mesa on green. We're not going to play Hustler on turn two. Just go for the Plunderer on three. Turn to Frontier Seeker. Being on the draw kind of sucks here because we're taking so long to develop out our board. Hopefully they don't have a counter. Need to find some lands, please. Alright, pass was good. Drawing return the favor in this scenario was not good. Okay. Lands, where are you? Come on. My deck is too bad to be missing land drops. There's no way for us to come back. <laughs> uh, love it. Don't think we need to kill the cow yet, although... We do have a bunch of removal in our hand. Geralt. Okay. Trade for both of those if they want. Matter Weaver. That makes an artifact creature, right? Oh, wait! No, artifact token. Copy of target artifact token. Okay, so that doesn't matter. Actually, we're not doing too bad here. <sighs> Oddly. Go Mine Raider into Consume the Sheriff. I think we do want to draw the uh, Raven because we can go Raven into like Derailment next turn. Plus, Raven with Blood Hustler if they can't get rid of the Hustler is incredible. Don't get to kill an artifact, but killing that's good enough.
All right, hustler with Raven now. This is kind of funny. I think my opponent is mad. <laughs> That actually is great for the triggers this turn. They're just dead next turn. Unless they drew like a... Wait, no, we can return the favor on any... Or rather, most scary things, right? 12-12 Gold Vein Hydra. Okay. Well, they needed that a few turns ago. So we can drain, go back up. And now we just need to not die to the Hydra. Two, four, six, eight, because we yeah, have we just drained for two at this point. So take eight. Holy smokes. <sighs> Geralt, Hydra, Matter Weaver, man. What is it, the one rare I'm playing? Vadmir? <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Looks like the tornado can come in versus them. Uh, I guess the return the favor actually looks terrible versus them. Yeah, okay. Easy swap out. GG, go next game. The dream yet continues. Good enough. No springs on turn one with this hand. I think we'd rather get the trigger. Squeeze out every piece of value from our uh, primes. Yeah, that tornado looks like it's going to be cast. So they have a cow here. Uh, let's play the Soured and pass. They can go in Holy Cow.
Bounce with no desert. Yo, whoa, that is... I don't think a good play. But I like it. We're gonna go Raven into Scorching Shot. Because from what we saw of our deck, the Scorching Shot is not gonna be as necessary. They did have an artifact or two, right? And, uh... We preserve the instant speed method. Plus, we have two more removal spells in hand. Do I want to attack into the cow now? Not particularly, because I'd rather develop a rather plot the Wolverine. If they had it, though, they would have cast it there. What it's worth. Unless they're playing the super long con. Oh, well, there goes cow and mana drain. Okay. So I'll go ahead and attack with the... Crow now, the Raven rather. Actually, no, there's no reason. It's one damage, and uh, if they do have a cow, my hand is just too stock chock full of uh, removal. I don't mind blocking here. Get rid of the trampler for now. Plot. Hustles. I should have hustled first. In case they had the uh, phantom interference. That's annoying. Okay. Could have actually probably sniffed that out if I was paying attention. I'm going to derail here for the double trigger and the Rictus robber. I'm still going to run out the 4-3. I smell blood, so... Need to save our consuming ashes for their, um... For their gold vein Hydra. Make a 2-2. Two -two. You know what that is? A token. The perfect target. All right. Freaking five wins, man. 7,500 gems locked up. Two more games? Two more matches, rather? Okay, five and two. Two wins away. Be on the play here. Oh, God. Painful opener that needs a 2-drop or a 3-drop really badly. But it has all of our colors, so... I don't think I can mulligan this in good conscience. Good conscience. Conscience? Conscience. Yeah, any 2-drop or 3-drop for Trash the Town would be fantastic. Again, can't be full greedy because the Mesa want 
might want to be on blue here. All right, please, castable creature next turn. Ugh, brutal. Oy, 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 oy. Plotted a Rictus. All right, so we'll just kill the homestead now. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm going to go for value since we're kind of far behind. I wonder if they just run out their robber, that'd be kind of nice. I think they probably would have run out their robber had I not killed their homestead. Large temptation to still just run out my robber there, but... Uh, good news is, Desert's Dew doesn't currently give minus four, and if they have Consuming Ashes, then that's an Exile. Railway Brawler. Well, I think I'm supposed to run out the robber now and try to pressure. Oh, no, please don't. No punches. Please just I have nothing <laughs> somehow. I beg of you. It's crazy that our best case scenario is them just running out two thick creatures exactly like this. That's going to be a 4-5, and then they can play out in 8-7. Oh god, do they have the saddle though? Oh my god. Yeah, well, that'll be that then. I won't quite concede, but yeah. Can afford to take a huge hit here. Yeah, 16? I'll go to 2. Maybe they just play one more creature and I draw a removal spell? Holy crap. Can I actually win this? Oh no! I don't! I can't punch the 5-5. Five five. I don't have a creature large enough. Wait. 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, this is lethal! No, the punch still doesn't work! Because it doesn't get pumped until after combat. 
Oh my god. Unlike Saddleborn, this needs to attack and get the trigger. Oh my god, are you kidding? Or one t this is a punt or this is a fight. It's not a punch. Right? I can put him down to eleven. Four, eleven, twelve, thirteen. God. Is there any way I can do this? Is there something I'm missing? Four, eight, nine. What if I sat five, nine, ten? I'm one short again. Oh man, that is brutal. I don't even know why I showed them that. Oh, so sick. Punching that doesn't change anything. Oh my lord, we were actually insanely close. I don't think I threw there, right? There was no way I could kill them. Even if I punched Rictus Robber to that. No, because as long as... Oh, God, that's so insane. That's so insane. Okay. In any case... That was damn close. God, that was damn close. Six. Seven. Six. Seven. Eight. Yeah. That's so incredible. How do we beat that? Can we beat that? We just gotta run this back. Oof, man, that got me excited. A glimmer of hope, but then instantly faded. So, thrown from the saddle would have worked there for us, but, uh... Ah, this is the, basically the same hand. Thrown from the saddle would have worked, Savage Punch did not. I guess I actually should have played out the um, Mirage Mesa first. Yeah, getting a little bit punished here. I'm going to miss a drain now. Hopefully I don't have to name red with the Mesa, but I will if I have to. Joke's on you. My deck has no good cards. I took my creature. All right, I guess we'll just two drop, three drop even though I won't be able to cast any of my cards next turn. A revealed return to favor is a lot worse. 
Hey, that's only a 1-2 this turn. So, best bet is that I'm going to use this as a copy effect to, like, copy my own Scorching Shot. Though, that would require Quad Red. <laughs> quad Red and one other. Yeah, it's not very likely to happen now, is it? Yeah, I don't actually mind doing this. Get him down to 11 already. That sucks. Because I named the Mesa on red, since I needed the double red, but... Maybe they cast like a targeted card draw effect. How insane would it be if they cast a targeted card draw effect here? Search your library for card, then shuffle and put it on top. So they're just tutoring? So that doesn't target anything, so I would simply be tutoring myself and drawing it next turn. Yeah, I think I'm going to copy that and go grab Trash the Town. Get to draw two cards and hit him for three. Seems fine. And now we probably can't win. Maybe they tutored for something that doesn't interact with Raven. <laughs> well, that goes that plan. Okay. That wasn't bad. I don't think I run out the Krom until I can get a card immediately. <sighs> the Bonnie Paul! Yeah. We're in that bracket, after all. They probably have a way to recur it, I'm sure, but... I mean, if they can't kill my Krom, it is a two-turn clock. No, stop it. No punching. Please. Please. 
Yeah, there it is. All right, so they're going to... Oh, wait. Oh, it doesn't matter, I guess. So I take nine. I'm going to need to draw something here. Oh, wait, no, I'm not, because Trick Shot actually kills the token as well. Okay. You have more recursion? Oh god, they're looking at my graveyard too. Oh wait, maybe they're just... Well, let's pray. I'm at two. That doesn't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh god, we beat a Bonnie Paul. We beat a double Bonnie Paul, even. God, their deck looks sick. All right. <sighs> Run it back, kids. Run it back. The tutoring for the Trash the Town was clutch. I, this is a very, very easy keep. This is one of the best kind of hands we can hope for if we can just curve out. Beautiful. No crimes to commit yet, but... Here comes Desert's Dew, and they had two of them, right? Oh, and they had Scorn. Alright. And now I'm dead. Plot Rictus Robber. I see you and raise you a Plot Wolverine. They missed a land drop here. That's too bad. Daddy Rut gone. Plot the Brawler. Oh my god. Here we go again. I need to draw land this turn. Untapped land. <sighs> so disgusting.
Untapped land, man, we might have had a chance. I wonder if I'm just not supposed to play the Quilled Charger and hold up Return the Favor, see if they go for something. That might have been a bad play, too. I'm willing to believe it. Oh, they're going to punch with the homestead. So notably, if I change the target, that doesn't actually work with the throw from the saddle. It would only work. It would only target. Um, I would have to target a different creature. Yeah, I mean, the beats. Well, let me tell you, we got a lot of mileage out of this deck, if nothing else. But eventually, we had to succumb to the bombs. Eight plus nine, so I do have to block here in some capacity. I don't think we have any outs at this point. Unlike that other game where Savage Smash almost got us there. I need to find five points of damage somehow. Actually, you know what? If they cast, um, like, a Consuming Ashes here, I have a chance. Do it. Cast a Consuming Ashes, please. I actually have a great chance if you do. Deserts do. <sighs> ah. So I control two deserts, which is insane. I almost get to kill two creatures here. Wow, if I could kill two creatures, I actually think I would have won. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. I copy it, and then their other one. Never mind. So it was minus four, minus four, plus minus three, minus three. Okay. Maybe they have nothing but expensive spells stuck in their hand. That gives trample. God, Savage Smash wins again. Or actually, take up the town, trash up the town also wins. I have wins. I have cards that win here. God, uh, and this doesn't work. Two damage is to a token. 
Oh my god, I had huge outs. That's crazy, dude. That's so sick. Wait, they had Bonnie Paul too, right? What what is going? I, I don't even know what's going on. Multiple games. Yeah. Multiple games I had outs here. God. That's insane. Oh. Well, I again, I cannot be upset we did this well with this pool. But man, being that close, being that close to beating multiple bombs is so absurd. I wonder on that one turn that I played the charger, if I just pass and hold up return the favor there. No, again, it doesn't really work on the fight effect, because changing the target doesn't work. They can't punch their own creature. Alright, I mean, hey, I got five wins with this, I should be happy. I'm actually a little bit sad, though, that we lost that last match in such brutal fashion where we were... So close to winning both of the games we lost. And in fact, we had how many outs on that last turn of that last game, at least? We had Trash the Town. Was it just two outs? Trash and Smash? But regardless, then in the first game that we lost, um, yeah, we just needed one more toughness because this is a fight and not a punch effect. Like, if this was throw from the saddle, we would have won that last game. Or the first game, rather. All right. Well, that's a three hour long video, so we did what we could and we got a lot of gems back with a garbage pool. So that's another qualifier weekend. Thanks for watching, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.